Hey, what's up and welcome back everyone to another Warzone Pacific video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about some news that was just revealed by Warzone developers about a massive meta change coming in the Season 3 update to Snipers. Now, we're going to get into that here in a bit, but you probably realize I haven't been around that often. This is about two weeks since I posted my last video. I want to apologize for that. Not only do I work full-time, but I also I had to take my wife in for an emergency surgery, and we've been dealing with a lot of that. She's fine. She's on a great road to recovery. Um, and on top of that, my editor and main best friend just had his first kid. So it's been a busy, crazy couple weeks, but I'm excited to get back to the grind heading into season three. So do me a favor and like this video as we get into talking about the main subject for today. And that is the massive nerf coming to snipers. Now, a recent interview was done with Ted Timmons. Ted Timmons is the senior creative director for Raven Software, and he was interviewing the Baca Bros, the team that just recently signed to Complexity, Lucky Shamu, Repulse, and Diaz. Now, we're going to listen to that interview real quick and we're going to talk about it as we go along and then we're also going to talk about what i think is coming to change in the season three updates and uh just based on the rumors it's going to be pretty freaking crazy let's take a listen okay i'm going to talk about obviously a lot for me a lot of the questions that i'm asking are just like pacing the right of the game and i we talked a lot about it um but because the map is so open right and there's so much running there's so much um out in the open i feel like the the increase in snipers has like it's been insane how many people have snipers in this map like ridiculous compared to like uh uh for Dots, the sniper right? question so um ha have you guys thought of potentially this snipers. is one of the um one of the things of decreasing headshot damage for snipers uh because obviously nobody likes being on a pr pace or even just like like let's mm. say you right being on like you're about to get your 10th kill like about to hit double digits and then getting one shot into the head um, right? like no yeah, one likes that sure. So, like, have you guys thought of something along the lines of, let's say, all marksman rifles, or like, so let's say the the um, the uh, what's it called, uh, Car 98, or the uh, Swiss, all those being not like one shot to the heads, but more like if people want to snipe, uh, amazing, keep sniping, but those one shot heads headshots will be for like the heavy guns, the heavy ones that are like, mm -hmm. so we're talking about the um, the Barrett 50, we're talking about the uh, what's AX 50, AX 30. It was like that. So, I mean, yeah. what, are your, what are your thoughts on that? So before we get into the actual developer response, what Hector Repulse was mentioning right there, and I will have his stream linked below. If you ever want to see just an absolute over-the-top energy stream of my editor pull a clip, this guy goes insane every single stream. And he's also extremely talented at the game. But he brought up a huge issue for me, and that's something that I've been kind of frustrated with for a while, especially in Caldera when they added an additional 50 HP. We went from 250 total health to 300 total health. So we technically added 20% more health to our overall overall health pool but we still kept snipers all at one shot headshot if you actually remember about the first six hours of the update or maybe even less car 98 swiss they were not one shot headshotting because they didn't multiply correctly and i thought this was a welcome change this is something i had been asking for for a while because there was no trade-off between mobility of something that i can aim down that site on a sniper as fast as i can my assault rifle and then just end someone's game instantly now, I get it. Snipers take a lot of skill. They have a low fire rate. But frankly, let's be honest. The bullet velocity is insane. The aim down sight is crazy fast. The flinch really isn't even there. And so I, there needs to be a little bit more balance, in my opinion. I know a lot of you are going to disagree with that. But one lucky shot from someone spamming, ending your entire game. that could be the best game of your week, your weekend. Just doesn't seem right to me when there isn't enough trade-off. So let's take a listen to what Ted Timmons has to say about Hector's question. I would love to have this conversation when we get closer to season three, because again, I don't want to guess it up. And my DMs are lighting up from the team because the, the weapons team are listening. And we do plan a meta shift for the snipers for season three. Like, I'm happy to yeah. say that. Um, I think we would all agree it's long overdue. Um, the, the sniper meta hasn't changed in what feels like forever. Um, so I feel really good about where we're going with that. Uh, and then in season three, just in general, just regarding your comment about like general pacing, uh, general, let's say second chance opportunities, um, that's really high on our list. In fact, like when, when I um, spoke with the game designers only like three or four weeks ago, when we we're really talking about what, what we want season three to be like and how we want the pacing and the heartbeat of that, of that season to play. Um, those kind of things were right at the top of, of what we want to address. So, yeah, let's, um, I just like, again, I hate to not be as transparent, but if you understand yeah. it's like just because I want to surprise you all when you get to see it. Um, and you never know, like with game development, things change. Like we may get closer to the day, we move some stuff around. 
um but season three like holistically including season three like three reloaded as we get further into the actual in season itself um there's some really interesting stuff coming and, and i hope when you guys see it you reflect back to this discussion you're like oh man like yeah like he was talking about this kind of stuff at a high level yeah, and, yeah. and that you like where like the direction that it's going in teddy told us he told us <laughs> <laughs> i hope so. So as you can see, we don't have any exact numbers yet as to what's going to be happening, but I do have some ideas in game based off of this and some internal rumors. I obviously don't have any direct conversation with Call of Duty. In fact, today is actually the very first day that I have any formal affiliation with Call of Duty. I'm actually now finally a COD partner. I think it's taken over two years because I have been openly transparent about how much this game frustrates me when it comes to, you know, the lack of anti-cheat, the issues with console, the bugs, how broken some things are in the game. I've been pretty vocal, so I'm surprised they gave me a COD partner. But if you guys are purchasing anything in the store, buy it at your own discretion. I'm not pushing you to do it. If you do want to support me, though, while you're doing it, code Isaac, I-S-A-A-C. I do receive a little kickback, but by all means, I will continue to be transparent and honest with my frustrations and, you know, things I'm happy about with this game. And one thing I am happy about is how transparent these developers have been recently. Now, they're transparent with, right now, it's been a lot of pros that they've been doing a lot of interview with, a lot of content creators, but they're also really open about the fact that they're not catering to us. They want this to be a game for the general public, and they even state for themselves, they're very aware of their own skill levels compared to the higher level pros who play this, you know, eight hours a day. So while they are communicating with us, they are not catering to us. And regardless of your stance in the game, I think snipers have been too powerful for too long of a time. So based off of what he says with the meta shift and kind of what Hector mentioned, and it's something I've been mentioning for a long time, Snipers that aim down sight so incredibly fast should not be able to take away all 300 of my HP. We compare this to games like Apex, right? Apex has the Kraber. It's super rare. And technically, the, K the Kraber can't even one-shot headshot certain characters like Gibby. Uh, you've got PUBG, where the only sniper that can one-shot headshot with a helmet is things like the Aum, which you're only going to find in care packages. Like, Call of Duty is the only battle royale, and granted, your battle royale can do things that are unique, but you get, like, 48 bullets of sniper that you can constantly pick up. You can aim down that site super quick. You have multiple ground loots across the ground, and you get your one in the supply drop that is perfectly fine-tuned for minimal sway, max bullet velocity, fastest aim down sight, and your perfect reticle. It's just too easy. So I'm excited to see a change. Here's what I would suggest, and here's what I think is going to happen. So I think the car 98 is no longer going to be a one-shot headshot. I personally hope the Swiss is no longer a one-shot headshot. I think the only guns that should one-shot headshot, literally one lucky bullet, whether you're running through a field and they're sniping at you 15 times and then they finally click at the right time, or they're camping a buy station, is something that takes a lot of penalty. So maybe sniper bullets are more rare, but more importantly, the snipers that are one-shot headshotting are things like the ZRG, which has a much longer aim down sight time. It's actually still pretty quick, honestly, if we're, if we're being completely honest, ZRG aim down sight pretty quick. The HDR, kind of quick as well. AX50, I really hope, even though it is a 50 caliber, you should see guys like Bartonologist, you can do some disgusting quick scopes with a gun. But that's what I would like to see. Like the Swiss, uh, come on. I think that's the balance that we're going to see it pushing towards is guns like the ZRG. Maybe not even the Tundra or the Pellington or the Type 99 or the Car, but things like the ZRG, the HDR, uh, the M82, the Rytec, the Gorenko anti-tank rifle, where you are sacrificing mobility and fire rate for the potential of a massive one-shot kill. Now, this is all open up to discussion. As Ted mentioned in that interview, they haven't set anything in stone. This may be pushed in the future, but they are planning a massive meta shift with snipers. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. You've got some more gameplay that I'm going to roll all the way through a 360 B-hop shot, headshot snipe to end the day, not to spoil it, but you've seen in the background all the gameplay of me hitting snipes. You've seen me using it. You've seen pros abusing it. The sniper can be pretty gross. Do you think what I proposed would be a good solution? Do you think snipers should be changed at all? Or do you think it should be even more drastic where maybe no snipers can one-shot headshot and there's only, you know, special ground loot that comes out of supply drops that can one-shot headshot like 
the uh, Kraber or the Arm from PUBG and Apex Legends. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. Do me a favor once again, like this video. Shout out once again to, to uh, Hector and all the Baca Bros for putting together that interview. And I guess shout out also to Call of Duty for actually having this open conversation with the community. Seems to be heading in a great direction. I'm ready to get back into the grind from the content from taking that time off. Make sure to use code Isaac in the COD store if you do decide to make a purchase. And thank you so much for supporting me, my family, and uh, this journey to uh, taking content creation full-time someday. Peace. I oh, 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 Huss, full team up oh, here. Go. Where? Right. Oh, two teams drawn out. I think it's Isaac. Oh, that was just tough. Well. <laughs> oh my god, it's a riot shield squad. Careful. Sniper from the side. Oh, yeah, I got sniped. Where are they? Hello. You saw one. Uh, we killed all down low. They went up the hill. Are you guys running tempered or no? Uh, yeah, you probably get that for my second turn. Your second loadout. Gotcha. I'm curious, hold up. Um what? I'm sorry, I had to do testing. Oh my god, there's two! Um, what? Excuse me? I won't fall with this lane disrespect. That's calmer. Straight calmer right now. That's not karma, dude. It is. Why do you add an R to the end of the word and an A to you? Karma. Nah, you think karma. It's karma. Did you knock that guy? Yeah, I did. I'm going to land on his heed. He's getting resified. Oh, there's multiple tankos on that guy. Ooh. Yeah, don't go for that guy. Mm. Multiple tankos. Oh my god, mold. Multiple tigers. Oh yeah, god. They're, they're these two. Oh, oh my goodness. Right here, Isaac. Got 
Us? Yoink. Man, how the That's why you oh lose both of those kills. Yeah. What? Jack. What? Down? Is the guy pushing down on my green mark? Blue that guy, blue the guy on the right. Oh, sniper from my left on the rocks. Down. Oh my god, oh my goodness. Right here. Oh, two of them on my green mark. Cheater. Yeah, they that's... One's wrapped right. Maneuvers. Better trick shot him, Hus. Where is he, where is he, where is he? I'll handle it. Oh my god. Oh my god. What the hell is that? Now is that 360. This was an amazing game. I was getting a lot of kills yoinked. I had to damage check that game. I was getting a lot of kills yoinked. So whatever.